Hello and good morning all my wonderful church family. Had you all on my mind today and even those that are lost that don't know Jesus. And I got my camera pointing here to the eastern sky, watching the sun come up. I just got some things on my heart that I want to share with you today and it's going to be a morning of just worship, prayer. But I'd like to pray for you all this morning and just go before the Lord and just glorify His holy name. I know there's a lot of you out there that, that are discouraged. I've been discouraged myself many times because Jesus hasn't returned yet. But I think I've mentioned before where He just wants to see as many people as possible to come to know Him as their personal Savior before He returns. Jesus loves us so much. The love that God has for us is just unmeasurable. We can't truly fathom the love that He has. And for those of you who aren't saved that don't know Jesus as their personal Savior, he will fill that void more than you could ever imagine if you just give your heart to Him. The birds are singing. It's just such a such a beautiful morning. I love filming the eastern sky with the sun coming up and I look forward to one morning watching this sky and I hope it's in the morning just like it was when I had my dream so many years ago of the rapture. Jesus is coming. He is coming. He is coming. Father God, we come to you this morning. Oh, we glorify your holy, holy name. We give you our hearts this morning, Lord. We put it all on the table. Oh God, we repent of our sins, Lord. We repent, O oh God, and those of us who have maybe walked away or, or strayed away and let the old world try to bring us back into it. Oh God, we, we put ourselves out there before your feet right now. Help us, Abba Father, in these last days. Oh God, we need your strength so much in these last hours, oh God. Oh Lord, prepare our hearts for that glorious day when the trumpet sounds and you call us home to be with you. Prepare our hearts, Abba Father. We need you in these last days, O oh God. And we pray that you have put people in our paths, O oh God, that, that need to know you as our personal Savior and, and speak to us through the power of your Holy Spirit as we witness to the lost in these last days. O oh God how your heart must ache 
to see the things of the world, the things that are going on right now. Lord Jesus, we pray for many, many, many thousands upon thousands of people to come to know you as our personal Savior. Oh God, we pray that as many as possible come to know you as their personal Savior before the rapture takes place. Oh God, and those of us who may be hurting, oh God, I pray that you would heal our hearts, oh God, and those of us that may be sick with disease and illness, we, we pray together as a church, we pray for those individuals, oh God. Lord, quicken our hearts, oh Father God, quicken our hearts. We come to you this morning, oh God, in representations of sackcloth and ashes, oh God, we come to you, oh Lord. And we put it before the table, before your feet, O oh God. And I speak for myself, O oh God. Take control completely of my life, Lord Jesus. We pray as a church, as a body, that you would help us in these last days. O oh God, as, as I face the east here and I, and I film this video, Lord Jesus, how awesome it would be to see your glorious appearing and coming, even while I speak, O oh God. Lord Jesus, help the hurting. O oh God, this world is so dark and we see prophetic things coming to pass. We know that your return is so near. Oh God, make us a church that cry out to you, Abba Father, a church that that seeks you completely, Lord. A church that that needs every single ounce and bit of you, oh God, a church that that worships you and prepares our hearts for your glorious return. Oh God, we pray. We pray for our brothers and sisters in Christ all over the world that are being persecuted, oh God, that, that are being held against their will, Lord, that we pray for a way of escape for our dear brothers and sisters, oh God. We pray you protect them from their enemies, oh God. Send them out to preach the gospel, to bring as many people to salvation as possible, oh God. Oh Lord Jesus, we seek you, Lord. We seek your face. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. You know, I just got to share with you all I've got a dear brother, his name's Brother Andrew, and his channel is called What If, uh, and I might have mentioned him before, but I'm going to put a link to his latest video down in the de description box, and, and I encourage you all to watch that video. He, uh, he truly prays and repents in sackcloth and ashes, and his message was so powerful. So I encourage each and every one of you to check his video out. and I know it'll bless your heart. I know it will. I just want to just be quiet and just let you all hear what I'm hearing. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Church, Jesus is coming. 
And it's sooner than what we believe. I know it's got to be so close because biblical prophecies are on warp speed right now. Get ready. Get ready. Prepare your hearts for the coming of the Lord. Prepare your hearts for that trumpet to sound. Oh, and the dead in Christ rising. And those of us who are alive and remain will be caught up together with them in the clouds. And so shall we ever be with the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus is coming. Jesus is coming. I cannot stress enough how important it is that we grab a hold of ourselves and put ourselves out there before the Lord and cry out and repent and prepare our hearts for His return. You don't want to be left unprepared. Prepare ye the way of the Lord. Hallelujah. Lord Jesus, I come this morning again, and I just pray for my brothers and sisters in Christ, and for those who may be watching who don't know you as their personal Savior. Oh God, we pray you would quicken their hearts, oh God, and convict their hearts that they would make the decision today to get to, to, to ask you to come in their heart and to save them, to repent of their sins. We pray together that many will come to know you as their personal Savior, oh God, and Send this video out to people who need to hear about you, Lord Jesus, I pray. And Father God, I pray also for my brothers and sisters that, like myself, we've been waiting a long time. Give them strength. Oh God, give them the words to say, to teach and preach by the power of your precious Holy Spirit. And Father God, we glorify your holy name and we love you so very much. Amen. And if you're watching, and again, you don't know Jesus Christ as your personal Savior, come to Him today. All you got to do is just believe that He died on the cross. He hung on that cross for your sins. He paid the sin debt so that we wouldn't have to. He took our place. We should have been the ones on that cross. But He paid that price. He is our righteous judge. He paid the price. You just got to believe that he hung on that cross and that he died. And three days later, he arose from the grave and that he is alive forevermore. Pour your heart out to him. Ask him to forgive you of your sins and to come into your heart and save you. And if you pray that heart with a sense, pray that prayer with a sincere heart, he will come into your heart and save you today. When you could be ready, you can be ready for this awesome event called the rapture that's going to take place very, very soon. Well, God bless you all, and I love you all so much. In Jesus Christ, most holy, holy name. Amen. I'll leave here with just a few seconds of just the sound of the birds and the beauty that's around me. Hallelujah.